Hey guys, Quentin here, coming at you with a different deck, um, other than my Chaos Dragons or my Chaos Stun decks. Uh, today we have a kind of a fun deck. We have Crystal Beast. I believe this deck is pretty fun. Um, I don't plan on using it competitively or anything. It's just a fun deck. I mean, it has potential. It's kind of overlooked, but it's really fun to play. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have three Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. This is the MVP of your deck. It allows you to um, place a Crystal Beast from your deck into the spell and trap card zone. It's also a uh what is a 19 beat stick? 18 beat stick? It's an 18 beat stick. So it's a uh, it's all right. It's got decent damage. Um so yeah, this is your MVP. It lets you bring a crystal beast from your deck to the trapper spell zone. Um the next very important card is Carbuncle. This card's effect uh, will let you pretty much go for a game. If it's special summoned, you can special summon as many crystal beasts from your spell and trap card zone as possible onto the uh, the monster zone. So these are the these two are the two MVPs of the deck. Next we have Topaz Tiger. It's a decent card. It's a 16 beat stick. And uh, if it attacks, it gains 400 points. If it attacks a monster, it gains 400 attack points. It's uh, also level 4. And then we have Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Um, if this card's on the field, and if the opponent were to attack, you can redirect the attack to this. And it's a 17k beat stick. Then we have... One Cobalt Eagle, I only play one, its effect's alright, say uh, you use Carbuncle's effect already, you can use his effect to return Carbuncle to the top of your deck. And then you could, if you believe that you can get Carbuncle's effect off again, go ahead. Um, one Amethy, whatever cat, it's a, it's a three star and if it attacks directly, or it can attack directly, but it's, uh, it's attacked is then 600 and only does 600 damage, but it's it's alright for just attacking directly, slowly whittling down your enemy. Um, one Emerald Taurus, just because it's a 2000 defense and it's a 3 star, uh, and if you have this card in the field and you attacked with a, another monster, you can use its effect, and when this card attacks, you can turn it to defense mode. So I guess it's a good out. And two effect failures because this format is going to be a effect heavy format, so two of those. Effect failure is a great card. And then um, two Haman Lord of Striking Thunder because you are most definitely always going to have probably at least two or three Crystal Beasts in your Spell or Trap card zone. And this it just makes this card so easy to get out. So I play two of them. I a lot of people play three, but two's just fine for me. I play two Beast King or King yeah. Beast King Barbaros because you can normal summon him and he'd have a nineteen thousand or nineteen hundred attack. But if you normal summon him or by tributing, you can destroy all your opponent's cards on the field. Or yeah, all opponent cards. So, it's a great card. Then I play Malefic Stardust Dragon because this has, uh, you play a lot of uh, field spell cards on there. Uh, Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, and one MST. Uh, Pod Duality, just for searching. Two Abundances. Um, sometimes two can be too much it could be a dead draw I was playing one but then I realized I wasn't drawing into it enough when I needed it this card you can go for a game this card is great it's a must have at least one in your deck uh, um, uh, two blessings uh, two crystal beacons three crystal promises this is a must have card it lets you get uh, Carbuncle's effect off. Uh, 
uh, two rainbow or ancient city rainbow ruins. This card is amazing. It has so many effects. And I play one Steel Orc Calcos. This card turns all of your little crystal beasts into beat sticks, pretty much. This this can change the game. Also, uh, King Barbaros, which is a 1900 if you normally summon him, plus 500, it turns into a, four, a 2400 beat stick. Terraforming, just to search out your your rainbows or your ore calcos. Tren All right, and then we go to traps, get Trenchel, Mirror Force, the Solemn Duo because Solemn Morning got limited. Skill Drain, this is interesting. Let me show you. Right here, it's King Barbaros. His effect is you can normal summon him. And you can normal summon him, but he changes to a 19 beat stick. But if you were to skill drain, you can normal summon him from your hand. His effect gets off in your hand. And he's still a 3000 beat stick due to its effect. It, its effect being cancelled once it hits the field because of skill drain. So you pretty much can normal summon a 3000 beat stick. And then the last card is a uh, Starlight Road. I found myself when I had a bunch of Crystal Beasts uh, in my field, on the field, or in my Spell and Trap card zone anywhere. I would always get Heavy Storm or Dark Hold, and Starlight Road just really helps out. And now let's move on to the extra deck. Let's see here. Play. Armory Arm turns them into beat sticks. Um, Stardust Dragon. Utopia. Um, Acid Golem. Zen Mains. There's oh, so many level 3s in this. So many level 4s. Shock Master. Utopia Ray. Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy. And Steel Swarm Roach. And that's about it. Let's move on to the side deck. My three tokens, just because. Macros Cosmos uh, for Dark Worlds and Insectors. Uh, this will not hurt your deck, not necessarily, because um, Crystal Beasts don't necessarily get sent to the graveyard ever. You can if you want to send them to, but they don't get sent to the graveyard. So you shouldn't really have to worry about them getting banished too often. Two Royal Decrees because I hate back row. Two Compulse, get rid of uh, Ixies and uh, Synchro Summoning. Two Smashing Ground. Uh, Spirit Reaper just to kind of stall out I guess. Two Fossil Dyna to stop Special Summoning. DD Crows. A Cyber Dragon and a Khmer Attack just to get rid of uh, gear gears windups windups a lot of people say windups are dead I just watched a video that convinced me that they were not dead so I think they're still gonna be pretty pretty heavily played because of the they have a new loop going on now they don't need Zen Mighty anymore but uh, yeah um thanks for watching keep an eye out for new videos new openings giveaways etc lots of new deck profiles coming up so uh, thanks for watching